Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh, if we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. If it's weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he... You know... An old mine in town. Abandoned. It ain't far. Come on. Come on! Yeah! Miss Gaskell, get that fire lit, quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're gonna stay here, and you were gonna get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out, see if we can find one of them. And this, just for a short bit, and I don't see what other choice we have. Listen, listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now we've had, well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny. Sean, Mac, they may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it, gladly. But we are going to ride out, and we are going to find some food. Everybody? We're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're gonna be, we're gonna be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pierce, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, Get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work well, to do. We ain't run into them yet. So they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith, get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. I... We need you strong. Okay. All right, let's head out. Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. Idiot! We'll do our best to stick to the trail. 
this goddamn weather. Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. Bridge coming up. Take it easy. the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Uh, a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. We got a fire and shelter. That's a start. Wait, is that someone coming towards us? You up ahead! Who's there? Micah. Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean. We don't know. Quite a business. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Always. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of anything once this storm came in. He hasn't seen him. He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere, too. Hey, Arthur, let me take the rear. You move on. In front of you. Go on. <laughs> you sure about this, Micah? Mr. Morgan, I never thought I would be so pleased to see your face. Been kind of lonely out here. Where's everyone else? Old mining camp back up the hill. Huddled around a fire, waiting for Daddy to put food on the table. Said it before, we got too many mouths to feed. Well, we got a few less now, so you should be happy. That ain't fair, Arthur. I earn my share. You think it's unreasonable to expect others to do the same? So, this house... You speak to the people there already? No. Like Dutch told us. Look, but don't talk to no one. Just following orders. You know me. I'm a good... Okay. Let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Snuff and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low on this. Okay. Let's head down there. up here. Let me handle this. We don't want to spook these fine people. Sounds like quite the party. You two, get yourself out of sight. 
One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty-looking degenerates. Arthur, in that cattle shed on the left. Micah, get down behind that wagon in front. Shed over there. Hello? Shut up, Billy. Excuse me. Hello? Oh, uh, hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way. Lost in the storm. Ah, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the trail. Arthur, we got a problem. <laughs> folks. There's a corpse right here. Now, I, I just Arthur, need some there's a body food in the wagon. Ah, I hear you, Joe. Keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should go now, buddy. Upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. Huh. Oh. Looks like the poor bastard was married, too. At some point. If we can't eat it or drink it, put it down. O'Driscoll's. I don't believe it. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Wanting Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Oh, I'm starving. You should eat something now. Get your strength up for the ride back. Place is dry and warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure.
master shot my cousin. Well, he's starving. I'm gonna break your neck. What's going on? Now, this guy just jumped me. Oh, oh, did he now? Sneaky little bastard. Should I kill him? No. Not yet. Find out what they're doing here, and where Calm is. Oh, this son of a bitch will talk. Where's Calm, O'Driscoll? With the others. At an old mining camp southwest of here, near the lake. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. No, I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. I don't know anything else. <laughs> Please. <laughs> He's already skittish. Get away from me! Ah! Michael, ah! what the hell? Why am I getting ah! ate you? <laughs> Leave her alone! I wasn't doing yeah. nothing. She's one of them on Driscoll's. No, she ain't, Michael. Look at her. Miss, miss. Yeah. Are you... Ah! Oh, you fool! Michael! Look at her. Yes. Now, it is gonna be okay. We mean you no harm. Miss! Miss! Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Oh. Are you okay, Miss? They came three days ago. And Bob has been me. Okay. Miss, you are safe now. And you can't stay here. You come with us. Arthur. Miss, it's okay. We're bad men. We ain't them. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss? Adler. Adler? Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. Homestead, but he weren't the first. 
Comb O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. We found some of them there. But there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food. And this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something. And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Now, how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know the situation were reversed and he looked for me thank you this way last I know John was headed up the river for all we know he kept riding north and never looked back he wouldn't leave not like that uh, wouldn't be the first time Take a look. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well, it seems somebody left recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on there. There's some tracks leading to the river. Continue up that way. You think it's John? You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but it could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So, you were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkerton. It was crazy. Raining bullets. <laughs> Watch out for this crevice. Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. The 
continue along the cliff wall here. Davey got shot. Mac and John both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. Damn snow's coming in hard again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. Watch yourself, it's not very wide here. Come on, boy. Horses are getting tired. Yeah, a lot of fresh snow here. Uh, I don't know about this, Javier. I mean, we can't follow nothing. Uh, let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. See if he can hear us. Come on, up there. He's coming from up ahead somewhere. I don't think we can go much further on the horses. We'll have to walk from here. I'd grab that shotgun from your horse. Who knows what's up ahead? It's slippery, be careful. You sure about this? Over here. Yeah. It's coming from this way. Okay. Mierda, that we're high up here. You're telling me. Closer now. Come on. We're coming, John.
Let's keep moving then. Come on. John! John, you there? John, can you hear me? Marston, you hear me? I'm here. Down on the ledge. That's John. We're coming. Down here. He's down here. Down here. All right. Hot down, Marston. That's quite a scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but good to see you, Arthur Morgan. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. I'm freezing. Don't die just yet, cowboy. Come on, compadre. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. See, I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you did. Uh, you all right? I think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out.
Push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. Help him down. You're alive! You're alive! On, here we go. There we go. Ay, oh. careful, idiotas! It's his leg! Oh, come on, let's get you warm. Thank you. Thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. Have you and Dutch talked about how we're gonna get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That's civilization. I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Moggy. <sighs> We have been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. What now, Dutch? We get strong, we get warm, we wait. When the storm breaks, we move. But we're safe here. Warm enough. I guess. You sound doubtful. Not doubtful, just worried. What do you think, Arthur? Well, I wasn't on that boat, so hard to say. But I trust your judgment, Dutch. Always have. Boys, because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lamb, and you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess, I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> a party. <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Both have been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Colm? Always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson, would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscolls about. Yeah! Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. He said follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay, let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this score they're planning.
that. Tracks, horses, quite a few of them. As far as I can tell, the only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest, one way or another. <laughs> it will be. Some things I can't forgive, others I can't forget. What he did to Hannibal, I can't do neither. You killed his brother, Dutch. Yes, I did. I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. Damn right, boss. <laughs> See that smoke? Let's cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. gentlemen this is it are we goddamn ready ready, ready Dutch good now mr. Morgan and I we're gonna head up here a little see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp mr. Williamson mr. Bell you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp mr. Summers mr. Escuela you two hold position here Let's go. Definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him. he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. They leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get them? No. Cone can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. Come on, let's get down there. Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse. You two, get up there and keep us covered. <laughs> sure thing. We'll circle around the far side and go down that way, same as Mike and Bill. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur, Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including Comb, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now, come on.
Oh, watch out. This bit's steep. Maybe I should take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running... Hush. Let's just get down there first. Follow me. Let's head for that building in front. So, what are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. So we got everything we need. We have to move on this right now. Numbers. 
If you can shoot a gun, ride a horse, and kill without thought, you're in. Oh shit! Look out! More of the bastards! Coming out of the trees! Time to mess around. Part. <clears throat> Bill, you go search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. All right, man, quick. Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go. Here. This looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. Smells good. Come on. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. All right, let's get out of here. Proud of you boys. All of you. Not a man down. Good work, fellas. Not bad for some... Carving down and outs. They can pummel us hard as they like. But we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait until we have John, Mac, Charles, and Sean back riding with us, and I believe, I know, they will all be back. Well, you didn't get combed, but huh? this head will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> Yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. You know, he'll come after us. Oh, of course he will, just like all the rest. But we're gonna stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know Blackwater. That won't happen again. All right! Dig in, fellas! 
Let's make some ground! your name, boy? I don't know. You don't know your name? It's Kieran. Kieran what? Duffy. Kieran Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Kieran Duffy. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna like. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Something you ain't gonna like. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please! Go to Mexico. You better shut your mouth, you little shit, or I will shut it for you. Oh, God, please, no. Just let me go, please. Please, I'll do anything. Are you trying to test me? Is that it? Because I will break every. One more, God. Two bones right there. Shit. Let's introduce you to the boys. Don't hurt me, please. Oh, don't worry. They're real nice. Huh. You found a little shit, did you? Yep. <laughs> I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. <sighs> you want me to make him talk? Oh, no, now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. We shoot fellas as need shooting, save fellas as need saving, and feed them as need feeding. We are gonna find out what you need. 
I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp! I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister! I, I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. Well, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. <laughs>